हेलो एवरीवन दिस इज़ द पार्ट थ्री ऑफ लिफ्टिंग मशीन्स सो द टॉपिक इज़ द रिवर्सिबिलिटी ऑफ द मशीन मशीन एक्चुअली आर द टू टाइप्स वन इज़ द रिवर्सिबल एंड अदर वन इज़ द सेल्फ लॉकिंग एंड व्हाट इज़ द रिवर्सिबल मशीन सपोज दिस इज़ द वन मशीन वी अप्लाई द एफर्ट एंड वी रेज द वेट एंड सडनली इफ वी रिमूव दैट एफर्ट इफ the machine itself lowering the weight if the weight will lower to this side or moving to the downward this side that's mean the machine is irreversible like the pulley system or the example is lifting water from the well so lifting water from the well suppose this is the pulley system and this is the weight w apply and this is the effort p if we pull this string then the weight will raise if suppose suddenly we remove this force then what happen the weight will move to the downward side so in this condition this is the reversible machine and the condition of reversible and the other one is the self locking just opposite to the this machine if suppose we remove we remove the load and the machine and the and the weight will not move in the reverse direction that's mean the machine is self locking like the screw jack screw jack used to lift car or automobiles so there are the condition whether the machine is reversible or self locking suppose let w is the load for any machine w is the load being lifted and p is the effort effort and d is the distance moved by fort and small d is the distance moved by load okay then the what is the input input will be p into capital d and the output will be w into d the work which is lost in the friction is input minus output this is the work which is lost in the friction and what is the condition of reversibility when we can say the machine will be a reversible machine if the work at output side will be more than the work lost in friction then the machine will say that is the reversible machine or this is the condition of reversibility because when we remove the effort when we remove the effort only there is a friction which can prevent the machine to become a reversible machine if the work at output side will greater than the work lost in friction then the machine become a reversible machine so this is the condition of reversibility so this is the output work and if this will be greater than this then the machine is a reversible machine so 2 w d greater than p d and w d by p d should be greater than 1 by 2 and we can say this is this term is 
mechanical advantage and if we this side if we divide by d then it will become a velocity ratio and this will be greater than 2 and this is the efficiency 1 by 2 if if the efficiency of machine if the efficiency of any machine is greater than 50 percent then the machine is a reversible and this is the condition of reversibility Reversible if efficiency is greater than 50 percent and just opposite if the efficiency is less than 50 percent then the machine is a self-locking machine next topic is pulley the pulley system we use to lift the load in convenient manner so with the help of pulley we lift a load suppose this is the one pulley this is the load w and we applied our effort P to lift this load in this condition in this condition this is the single pulley system in this condition if we applied the force then it will move this direction and the load will lift into the upward direction so in this condition the distance traveled by effort will be equal to distance traveled by load so for this condition single pulley distance moved by effort will be equals to distance moved by load so for this condition velocity ratio will be 1 so this is the single pulley system but we can use the number of pulley in different manner uh, to lift the load so there are different pulley systems and depending on the arrangement we divide into three categories one is the first order pulley system then second order pulley system and third order pulley system and when we use the number of pulley it is difficult to find out the distance traveled by load and distance traveled by the effort means it is difficult to find out the velocity ratio so we assume that ideal condition ideal condition means neglecting friction for this mechanical advantage will be equals to velocity ratio for that this is the condition of idle machine and the mechanical advantage will equal to the velocity ratio so just we are going to start the first order pulley system this is the first order pulley system so in this system there are four pulleys the number of pulley may increase we are taking four pulleys but like we can increase the number of pulleys so this is the one pulley that is fixed and this is the second pulley then third and this is the fourth the weight is hanged on this fourth pulley if we apply the effort if we apply the effort then this pulley can rotate this pulley can rotate and due to this this pulley will lift to the upward direction and then this pulley will lift to the upward direction and then this pulley will lift to the upward direction so these three pulley can move in upward and downward direction but this pulley is fixed means it cannot move upward and downward direction it can rotate but cannot move in upward and downward direction so we can say this is the fixed pulley means it cannot move upward and downward direction but these pulley these three pulley can move upward and downward direction depending on the effort applied so let assume p 
is effort required to lift the load W. Suppose P is the effort required to lift the load W. So in this condition, we have to find out the relationship between P and W. And we assume the ideal case. Means there is no friction. So this is the effort P. Just consider the equilibrium of the first pulley. If this pulley is in equilibrium, so if this is P, then this should be P. For the condition of equilibrium, if this is P, if you, or you can assume that there is a tension T, and that will be equals to the P. If when you assume the condition of equilibrium. Now go to the second pulley and assume this pulley into the equilibrium. If this is P, then definitely it will be a P. And if this is P and this is P, both are in upward direction. If we assume the condition of equilibrium for this pulley, this is upward direction, this is upward direction for this pulley. If we consider this is string, then it will be downward direction. But if we consider this pulley, then the force P or we can say the tension in the rope in upward direction and this is also in upward direction. So for the condition of equilibrium, this should be in downward direction and this should be 2P. Now assume the condition of equilibrium of this. If this is 2P, then this will also 2P. Now assume the condition of equilibrium for this pulley only. So 2P in upward direction, this is 2P in upward direction. So total for the equilibrium condition, this should be 4P. And then apply for this. If this is 4 pulley and uh, apply for this, this is 4P tension in this string for the condition of equilibrium this should be 4p and if we apply the condition of equilibrium in this fourth pulley then total force into upward direction that is 4p plus equilibrium of pulley number 4 so 4p plus 4p and for the condition of equilibrium that should be equals to w is in downward direction so this is w so this is 8p and that will be w and we can say w by p will be 8 and what is w by p this is the mechanical advantage and this is 8 for this condition it is also it is uh, the mechanical advantage will depend on the number of pulleys for this system if we increase the number of pulleys then it will change so mechanical advantage will be to the power 3 so look at the number 3 so we can conclude that for this system total movable pulley number of movable pulley in this system this is the fixed pulley only this pulley this this and this means one two three three pulley can move in upward and downward direction so this number is three so we can conclude that mechanical advantage i'm going to generalize this mechanical advantage for first total pulley system will be 2 d power n and what is the n? n equals to number of movable please and this 3 in this system 3 are the number of movable 
police so this is valid this is valid only for first order police system uh, this is very simple just you have to know the concept of pulley and rope you very well know that if this is the one pulley if a rope will wrap on side then always the tension on both side will equal if this is t1 this should be t1 like that just we applied that concept this is the effort we assume that is p and just applying this concept we find it out the relationship between p and w and we know w by p is the mechanical advantage this is p so this should be equal this is p if this is p then this is also p okay if this is p this will not be because this own dif the, this is string or this rope in you know, on different pulley this rope in on same pulley so this is p this is p so uh, then apply the condition of equilibrium p plus p 2p and for the equilibrium condition that should be 2p then this is again same string on same pulley so this is again 2p 2p and then this is 4p then again this is on the same pulley so this is 4p this is 4p then apply the condition of equilibrium this we will get the relationship between w and p and we assume that the this ideal is the condition second order pulley system so ideal in this condition. system basically so well uh, will be this, is, uh, this system is divided into and there should two be blocks to n. this one is known as the, so the first order pulley system, pulley system. and this mm -hmm. is the lower pulley system to the power n so and n is, n is the number of movable pulley movable means so moving upward and downward direction all the pulley will rotate pulley. All the pulley will rotate but we use the word movable pulley means moving in upward and downward direction block and this is the bottom pulley block these three pulley will connected with this rod so these are connected with this rod and then these are connected with this rod so this is upper top block and this is bottom block number of pulley may increase or decrease but the system will like that top and bottom block so in this system suppose p is the effort required to lift the load w so just apply the same concept if this is p this is p and then what will be the tension in this string this is p this is p this is the same rope on same pulley so this should be p so this will be p tension in this string and then this is p then assume this pulley so again the same rope will on this pulley so if this is p then this should be p and this should be <coughs> P. because this is the same string so again this is p then if this is p then again this is string on this pulley so both the string are same so this will again p then again if this is p this is the same string on this pulley so this should be p then again this is the same string actually that's why these are p if this is p this is p because we assume the ideal condition there is no friction so 
the tension will be now just take a section and divide both the blocks this is the section one and consider this part if we consider this part if we only consider this part then <coughs> if we consider only this part so this is p in upward direction and this is the p in upward direction this is p in upward direction this is p this is v so for the condition of equilibrium equilibrium for the condition of equilibrium total force in upward direction total force in upward direction will be p 1 2 3 4 5 6 6 p this is in upward direction and total force in downward direction is w only that is in downward direction so this is minus w and this should be 0 and this is will be 6p equals to w and w by p will be 6 we got the relationship between w and p and we know this is the mechanical advantage and that is 6 now we can conclude that in this system number of movable pulley these three pulley or we can say the top block will fixed it, it cannot move the pulley will rotate but it cannot move in upward and downward direction only the bottom block will move upward and downward direction so the number of pulley in bottom block are one two three these three pulley can move in upward and downward direction so i'm going to generalize the this so the mechanical advantage for the second order pulley system will be 3 into 2 or 2n n is the number of movable pulley and for ideal condition For ideal condition, velocity ratio equals to mechanical advantage and this is 2n. And this is valid only for the second order pulley system. We just have to calculate the number of pulley, movable pulley. Then we can say, we can find out the mechanical advantage or velocity ratio. And this is only the dotted line. These are the only the dotted line. So this is the different system. This is the different system. So th these these are not connected. These are not connected. This is only the dotted line. This is the third order pulley system. So this is the one pulley that is fixed at this point. And this is second and third. And the string will attach to the base. The load is hanged on this base. So let us assume that is to lift the load W we required effort P then again apply the concept of the rope and the pulley so this is the rope over this pulley for the equilibrium condition this is P the tension in this side also the P if this is P this is not P because this is the different string on other pulley so from this condition we can find out the tension in this side for equilibrium of this pulley this is p downward this is p downward so for the equilibrium this should be 2p in upward direction then only it will be in equilibrium then again this is 2p and this is the single string that is wrapped on this pulley so again this will be the 2p then if this is 2p this is 2p for this pulley if we assume this pulley in equilibrium this 2p in downward direction this 2p in downward direction 
so there will be a tension in this string that is 4b then assume the equilibrium of this so if this is 4p then this will be 4p because this is the ideal condition there is no friction just apply the concept of pulley and the rope okay now we ha we have to find out the relationship between p and w we can only find out the relationship p and w from this point if we assume this base into equilibrium if we assume the base into equilibrium equilibrium then the the force applied in this string in upward direction r 4p in this string upward direction 2p upward direction and p for direction and downward direction only there is a w in downward direction so this will be equals to w and this is 7p equals to w and p by w will be sorry w by p will be 7 so the mechanical advantage will be 7 for the for this system if we increase the number of pulley then it will automatically change so we are going to conclude for this system so mechanical advantage this is the generalized mechanical advantage will be to the power n minus 1 so what is the n n is the total number of police total number of police what is the difference in this system if we compare to the other in the other two systems first and second order we consider the n is the total number of movable pulley but in this system the third order pulley system you have to remember this in third order pulley system we are counting the total number of pulleys and for ideal condition for ideal condition velocity ratio equals to mechanical advantage and this is 2 to the power n okay let assume n equals to 1 if we put n equals to 1 then the velocity ratio should be power 1 minus 1 and this will become a 1 so velocity ratio for one pulley that is 1 in the beginning in the beginning we find out we already find it out the velocity ratio for one pulley is 1 I am again explain you if this is W this is the one pulley and this is P whatever the distance moved by P that will be equal to the W so that in a single pulley the velocity ratio always 1 so from this equation we we find it that this is also the velocity ratio 1 so you have to remember only the one thing in the third order pulley system we are counting the total number of pulley we we are here not counting the movable pulley we are counting the total number of pulley uh, next topic is the wheel and axle so wheel and axle so suppose this is the axle and there is a wheel mounted on this coaxially and this is the diagram of wheel and axle and the whole the whole assembly will mounted on the ball bearings these are the ball bearings and this this is axle this one is axle and this is the wheel a rope is wounded on the wheel and the rope is wounded on the axle and we attach our load w to the axle and apply the effort to the wheel we are going to find out the velocity ratio for this assembly wheel and axle i am going to draw a side view of this axle on a large scale 
suppose this is the axle and this is the wheel mounted on this axle this is axle and this is the wheel and suppose the diameter diameter of the wheel is capital D and the diameter of the axle is small d if we apply the effort it will move and the load will raise so for one revolution for the one revolution for the one revolution distance moved by wheel for one revolution distance moved by wheel will be pi into d and distance moved by axle distance moved by axle will be pi into small d this is the distance moved for the one revolution so the velocity ratio velocity ratio will be the distance moved by effort this is the ratio of distance moved by effort to the distance moved by load so the distance moved by effort is wheel or effort or load it will same so this will be pi d by pi d so the velocity ratio for the assembly wheel and axle will be capital d by small d and d is greater than small d this is the last we'll have the last diameter uh, this is the one numerical on the pulley system uh, find the pull required to lift a load w assuming the efficiency of the system to be given 78 percent this is the diagram given this is the pulley system so first we have to identify the which pulley system is this first order second order or third order so we can see in this diagram this is actually the combination of two different systems this one if we divide this this one is first order pulley system this is the fixed pulley and two are the movable pulley and so this is the first order pulley system and the pulley are fixed one two three pulley are fixed this is the top block and this is the bottom block the bottom block can move this is the second order pulley system so here the uh, movable pulley are number of movable pulley two so actually this is the combination of both the system so how to solve this question first first assume the this one first order pulley system and one more thing the efficiency is given means this is not the ideal system but earlier whatever we find out the relations that are valid only for the ideal system so this is the real system because the efficiency is given okay first first we are going to find out for the ideal system then we will convert into for the real system so first order pulley system first assume that assume distance moved by w is x this is the suppose distance moved by x okay and ideal system 
if x is the distance moved by x so we are considering the ideal system this is the first order order pulley system for the first order pulley system we know the velocity ratio is to the power n and n is the number of movable pulley here n equals to 2 2 are the movable pulley so the vr equals to 4 vr is distance move by distance move by effort distance moved by p is suppose y so the y by x equals to 4 so the y equals to 4x okay this is the equation number one this is up to this only the first half but there is another system so separately we are going to find out this for the second order pulley system second order pulley system suppose this is the y1 okay this is the y1 velocity ratio is given for the second order pulley system 2 into n n is the number of movable pulley so again 2 so vr is 4 so again distance move by effort y2 by x will be 4 and y2 equals to 4x so we can say total distance moved by effort equals to y1 plus y2 or that is 8x so combined velocity ratio will be total distance moved by effort by the distance moved by load so this is 8 so this is the combined velocity ratio that is 8 so this is for ideal but if efficiency is given 78 percent then mechanical advantage will be efficiency to velocity ratio for ideal condition mechanical advantage will equal to the velocity ratio but in this case efficiency is given so that's why the mechanical advantage mechanical advantage will be 0 0.78 into 8 and it will be 6.24 mechanical energy w by effort required and that is 6.24 that's why p equals to that is given this is given 12,000 by 6.24 and the effort will be 1920 after solving you will get Newton this is the there is a second method also method 2 in the second method manually we will solve to solve just assume this is the ideal condition for the ideal condition we can find out the p so this is p because this is on the same string if the tension is this side this is p so this should be the p then again this will be p and again this will be p and again this will be p this is the manual way 
if this is p and this will be the p then this will be the p because this is the same string now if this is p then this will be the p but at this point if this is p this will not be the p this is p this is p so assume this is the in equilibrium so the force p and p in upward direction so to balance this there is a 2p in downward direction now this is the same string on same pulley so if this is 2p then this will be 2p just divide this into two part make a section at this point and if we assume if we assume only this portion so this is in downward direction w equilibrium so total force in upward direction is 2p plus at this section 2p plus p plus p then this will p then p then p plus p and that will be equals to 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 total is 8 is 8 p equals to 12 so the p will be and because we find out this by ideal condition so this p will be ideal so the ideal p will be the ideal p will be 150 in actual for actual machine efficiency is given that is what is the efficiency 0.78 percent so the efficiency will be p ideal by p real and we have find out the p real p actual that is p ideal by efficiency and p ideal is 150 and efficiency is 0.78 sorry this is this will be 5 and 1500 this is 1500 so the p will be 1923.076 so this is the second method manually we can find if you if you are unable to find out the which system of this pulley so i am suggest you go to the manual and find out like this just find out the relationship between p and m you got the ideal effort and after that with the efficiency you can easily find out the actual